G'day guys, so I know it's been a little while between videos, but this is something I had to share with you guys. This is a Blitzworth P11 USB power bank. Now, I do use this one I also got from banggood.com quite a bit. It just takes 18650s. But about well, two or three months ago, I got this one, which is a P11. So, they are in Australia for immediate delivery. So I got this in less than a week. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I've been using this one. It's got some scrapes and that on it. They're $29. They quick charge in, quick charge out. Two quick charge out ports, a quick charge in, out port in USB-C. And a micro USB port there. In Australia, fast postage. No joke numbers that are just like nowhere near their actual capacity. Only like one week delivery from Banggood. So if you're in Australia and the Australian warehouse just ships these out so fast. And $29, like they're incredibly good value. Um, for, so it's 20,000 milliamp hours. Well, it's actually 20,000 milliamp hours. So just for a comparison, I will test this brand new one from Empty and this full one, this used one from Empty. But I have a uh, super fast charge port there and a USB type C cable there that I plug all my fast charge power banks into every time I come around to my house. Um, comes up QC, oh, you're not going to see that on video. Comes up with 9 volts 2 amp charge, so 18 watt charge. I, I do the same with these, I drop these off. Now I have two so I can basically have them in rotation because my power here is off the sun and free You get a micro USB charging cable. I don't think you'll get a quick charge over that so don't bother with that Throw it in the copper cable recycling thing the user manual Yeah, apparently we might have a Couple of companies that want to send us some goodies shortly well, there you go, that's what she looks like brand new. Oh, it's even got three bars of charge in this one. I think it only had two in the other one. But yeah, it tells you it's a couple of modes, but I, I, all you need to know is it's 18 watts, 74 watt hours, 20,000 milliamps. There's the ports. It's a good value. Solid sound, non-scratching. Still fits in your pocket, it's not, no bigger than a um, decent smartphone. Unlike those, they're a bit on the big side, so it's quite a bit smaller than them. And uh, let me show you how it goes into quick charge. So it's currently charging the Samsung Galaxy Note we're using now. As you can see, there's a green light and a white light. The green light is telling me that it's quick charging. The white light's telling me the state of charge, so there's two lights, so it's half full. So let's plug this beast in so we can uh, Show you how it goes. Plug in your Type C. Does the handshake? The green light comes on. It starts charging, just like that. Nice 18 watt fast charge. So um, that's that's a good charge rate. That's what you want. I will uh, endeavour to get a test out as soon as I can after this video on seeing if this has yet had any degradation as soon as I use the life out of it or not. Um, I quite often have several devices hanging off this, normally two phones or a phone and a GoPro or a uh, high powered torch or something like that. I haven't had anything that it wouldn't go into quick charge or do its thing properly with. There'll be an affiliate link for this in the video description if you want to support the channel. If you don't, search, Bl search Blitzwolf. It's called a P11 and yeah, P. Um, cool if you could uh, buy one if you're looking for one and you need one like it's definitely a good option and that weighs 390 grams yeah I don't think there's any actual instructions on how to use it I think it's pretty much just plug on in just a few warnings in different languages and away you go thanks for watching Hopefully this helps someone out that was looking for a good power bank. Um, yeah, 20,000 milliamp, I believe that's still plain. 
um, safe. A lot of people ask me that on some of the other ones. I probably wouldn't take one of these on a plane because they're a, you, know, you build it yourself kind of thing. Um, but if you've got a lot of 18650s laying around, that's also a very good option. I'll link them as well. That's got USB-C in and out, two outs, and iPhone and micro in. So that's probably a very versatile one. If you've got your own 18650s, there's eight 18650s in there. So potentially up to 2400 uh, milliamp if you've got 3000 milliamp 18650s. If you go and buy some real big um, Sony ones, I think you can get them in 3600. So yeah, you can do the math on that yourself. That's not a problem. Thanks heaps for watching. If you want to buy one, grab one in the description. I'll leave links to them. And thank you for supporting the channel. Catch you on the next video, guys. Cheers.